dive. Yeah. Today, we are taking a closer look at, well, how we learn about the physical world, specifically physics education. Yeah, education, it's more than just like knowing all the facts, right? Right. We've got some great excerpts here, kind of jumping off points to really unpack what it takes to understand this stuff. Okay. You know, the universe, how it works. You guys listening already have some physics knowledge, so we're going to be going a little deeper. This isn't like physics 101. We're going a little more advanced. Yeah. Kind of leveling up your understanding. So it's interesting to think about physics education as you know, it's more than just knowing the facts. You know, it's about developing a specific way to think, mm -hmm. to look at problems. Yeah, it's like a whole new way of looking at things. Yeah. So it's definitely not about memorizing all those formulas. No. It's about, you know, how do you think? Yeah. How do you think like a physicist? Exactly. So let's start with some of those, you know, like core concepts. Okay. Yeah. Motion. Sure. Force. Energy. Yep. And they seem like really basic ideas, but where do they actually take us? They're the building blocks, right? Yeah. So you think about, um, you know, you learn about force and motion, mm -hmm. and that can help you understand why, like a curveball, why it breaks the way it does in baseball. Hmm. And then you can take that same knowledge, you scale it way up, and you can start to understand the motion of planets and galaxies. Wow. So it's all connected. It is. It That's helps. amazing. Taking like small things and then applying it to these huge, yeah, yeah. big, massive objects. Absolutely. That's so cool. All right. But, you know, you can't really talk about physics without talking about math. Right. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people, you know, kind of hit a wall when they see the equations. Yeah. What's the best way to think about math's role in physics? Well, I'd say it's really important to think about math as like a tool for expression not just calculating stuff. Yeah. You know, like in physics, math helps describe the relationship between, you know, those core concepts we were just talking about. Mm -hmm. So it's less about crunching numbers and more about like seeing the patterns and connections. I see. Yeah. So almost like a different language. Yeah. Kind of like code. Yeah. Code that unlocks, you know, these secrets about the universe. Right. Exactly. OK. So instead of getting intimidated by all those equations and symbols. Yeah. Maybe just think of it as a different way of expressing things. It's a way to look at the world, yeah. But is there a risk of getting too bogged down, you know, with yeah. all that theory, yeah. with all that math? Sure. How important are hands-on experiments in physics education? I mean, they're essential. Yeah. It's in the lab where you get those aha moments. Yeah. Right? Where you actually get to test the theories. Exactly. You see how they play out. Uh -huh. And it's like, you know, the scientific method. Yes. It's all about questioning, experimenting, and refining our understanding. That's what it's all about. And doing that, being active in the process. Yes. Really key to learning. It's one thing to read about gravity. Yeah. But it's another to actually like, you know, Drop stuff. Drop something. Let's <laughs> see what happens. And see it falls. <laughs> we, yeah. yeah. See that it falls at the same rate. Yeah, it makes it real. Exactly. Okay, so we've talked about kind of like uh, fundamentals. Right. But physics, you know, it also explores the really, really big, you know, like the universe. Yeah. And then the really, really small, you know, like qu quantum. Yeah. Quantum mechanics. Yep. Relativity. How does learning about these, and these are some mind-bending concepts. Yeah, they are. How does that benefit someone, even if they're not going to go on to be a physicist? I mean, these topics, they can be really complex. Yeah. But they're really rewarding to explore. Huh. They make you really think differently about the world. Yeah. I mean, they force us to confront our assumptions about reality. Okay. Right. I mean, think about it. Learning about quantum mechanics might make you question, you know, what is certain. And then relativity, it challenges how we think about time and space. Yeah. So those are big questions. Those are huge questions. They're philosophical questions that physics grapples with. Uh -huh. And engaging with them, even at a basic level, mm. it can really expand how you view the world. Absolutely. So it's really like pushing the boundaries. It is. What we know and what we think we know. Yeah, definitely. Okay, let's bring it back down to Earth, though, for a second. Okay, sure. Physics isn't just all theoretical, right? No. no. Where are some of the fields where physics education can actually open doors. Oh, so many places. Yeah. Engineering, mm -hmm. medicine, mm -hmm. environmental science. Okay. All these places, you know, because physics, it gives you this really fundamental understanding of how things work. Yeah. Take climate change, for example. Yeah. 
really complex problem. Yeah. And to really tackle something like that, you need to understand the physics of like energy, mm. heat transfer. I see. Atmospheric dynamics. Wow. So it's everywhere. Yeah. It's everywhere. So it's not just about being a physicist. Yeah. It's about having that mindset. That, absolutely. That problem solving mindset. Yeah. It's the way you approach the problem. To break things down, mm -hmm. see the underlying principles. Exactly. And it seems like, you know, the tools that we use for learning physics, they're constantly evolving. Right. What are some of the more recent innovations that you think are really cool? I mean, simulations and virtual reality oh, yeah. are becoming really powerful tools. Yeah. You know? because they let students visualize and interact with these complex concepts in ways we've never been able to do before. Wow. I mean, imagine being able to like see how gravity warps space time mm -hmm. or like step inside an atom. Wow. It's incredible. Yeah. It's amazing to think about how technology is like opening all these new doors. It is. It is. Yeah. For exploring and learning in physics. So if someone's listening, you know, and maybe they had like a more traditional physics education. Yeah. What would you say is like the most important thing they should take away from this conversation? I would say remember that physics isn't just this like static body of knowledge, mm -hmm. you know, it's constantly evolving. Uh -huh. It's challenging our understanding. Yeah. And it's always changing and growing. Keep being curious. Keep exploring. Don't be afraid to push yourself. I love that. Yeah. So to wrap up, physics education. Yeah. It's about so much more than just like the facts and formulas. Yeah. It's about cultivating a curious mind. Yeah. An analytical mind. Exactly. That's ready to tackle, you know, all these complexities in the world. Yeah. So go out there. Absolutely. And keep exploring. Yeah. Learn more. That's it for today. Thanks for listening. See ya. Bye. <laughs>